the numbers are continually climbing with insulin resistance, prediabetes, and diabetes. The glucose levels are staying too high. Our poor diet, obesity, this is really getting out of control. The big problem is, is that the doctors will give you medicine to allow insulin to become more balanced or give you more insulin to lower your glucose levels. But are they addressing nutrition? And the answer is no. So the clinical studies that I'd like to share with you today is all about magnesium because the lack of magnesium, which is so commonly seen worldwide, I mean by the millions, is climbing as well. And magnesium has a direct correlation to insulin and insulin resistance. Magnesium is involved in over 300 bodily functions. And magnesium also affects our bone health, our cardiovascular health. It affects our arteries, allowing it to relax. It has an effect with premenstrual syndrome, anxiety, as well as playing a tremendous role with other minerals and vitamins in our body. But even insomnia, having a hard time sleeping, is directly linked to magnesium deficiency. And the big problem is we don't know where many of these plants are being grown. The soils are depleted of magnesium. And what about our medications, stress, improper digestion? All these play a tremendous role in getting the right absorption of that magnesium into our small intestine so it can get absorbed properly into the bloodstream. All of our cells in our body depend on magnesium to function. It is one of the many substances necessary to produce ATP. That's the energy within the mitochondria of our cells. And there's concrete research that magnesium has been shown how it manages insulin resistance, a major cause of type 2 diabetes. When we eat food, the sugars are broken down into glucose. It passes through the small intestine into the bloodstream. And glucose continues to rise as insulin is necessary to move the glucose and transport it into the cells of our body. And when glucose is consistently elevated, it causes excessive insulin secretion. And as this insulin secretion continues to be elevated, the cells will eventually stop responding to insulin after having too much. And the research has revealed that insulin receptors depend on magnesium to function properly and to respond to insulin. They have also discovered that high levels of insulin also cause an increase in the amount of urinary magnesium that's excreted from the kidneys, thereby reducing the body's level of this important mineral. And that's the problem. It's a double-edged sword because magnesium works directly with the insulin receptors. And therefore, when insulin is secreted into our bloodstream, it continues to stay elevated. And as it stays elevated, the kidney's job is to start excreting more magnesium out of our bodies. And the recommended daily allowance for females are around 300 to 350 milligrams daily, as well as men are 400 to 450. Should you be taking more? In my opinion, yes. Although, I recommend always try to get it from your foods first. So you can Google the best foods with magnesium and start adding that to your diet. There are other supplements like magnesium glycinates, citrates, as well as many other ones that you can take as well if needed. But again, I'm a big believer when it comes to food, that should be number one first. And the purpose of this video is to make you more aware of how important magnesium is for the health of your body. Magnesium works along with calcium. It works along with vitamin D. It works along with so many different minerals and vitamins throughout our body. It works with our nervous system. It helps you sleep better, it relaxes the, the vessels of your cardiovascular system so blood pressure can come down. But when it comes to insulin resistance, prediabetes or diabetes, the studies are there. And if you're taking medication for your diabetes or they have you on some oral or even other meds, check your sugars regularly. And if you start noticing a big change, and hopefully you will, they'll come down those levels, then speak to your doctor and work it out with him or her. I hope that this video really makes a big change in your life. Please share it with your friends and family. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.